Namaste, my friends. Welcome to this 20-minute hands-free yoga flow. For this class, you don't need a yoga mat, so it's great when you're traveling or taking a break at your office from the computer. And it's also really nice to give your hands and wrists a break from down dogs and planks. But still, get a full body stretch in. So let's begin in mountain pose. Stand up tall with your feet hip width apart. Arms along your body. And turn your palms facing open. Let's start by connecting breath with movement. Inhale through your nose, circle your arms up. Exhale, turn your palms facing down, lower your arms all the way down. And again, big belly breath in through your nose, circle your arms up, feel that space in your chest. And then exhale, lower your arms down. Now as you inhale, bring your arms up, keep breathing, Interlace your hands, but keep your index fingers pointing upwards. Let's get ready for a side body stretch. As you inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, dive to your right side. Then inhale, come back to center. Exhale, dive to your left. We'll do six more. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Keep grounding down through your feet. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Keep your chest open. Inhale, center, and exhale. Inhale, center, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, exhale to the right. Last one. Inhale, center, exhale to your left. Then inhale, come back to center, and release. Place your hands on your hips. For a hamstring stretch, cross your right leg over your left and place the outer edge of your right heel close to the pinky side of your left foot. Soften your knees, then inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, fold forward, bring your arms down along your body, kind of like airplane arms. Standing forward bend variation. Take a few deep cleansing breaths. Relax your neck. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, release. Switching sides. Plant your right foot back under your right hip and cross your left leg over your right with the outer edge of your left heel close to the pinky side of your right foot. Soften your knees as you exhale. Fold forward. Bring your arms along your body. Keep breathing. Allow your neck to relax. Hold your balance and feel the stretch in your legs. Then inhale, come back up. Release as you exhale. Place your feet hip width apart. Inhale, circle your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, hinging from your hips. Come all the way down. Soften your knees. And you can place your hands on your thighs or shins. Relax your neck. Keep your eyes open. And breathe into the backs of your legs. Now as you inhale, come up halfway, lengthen your spine, slide your hands on your shins or thighs. Exhale, fold forward. Then inhale, come up all the way. And exhale, fold forward. Half sun salutations. We will do two more. Inhale, lengthen your spine, slide your hands on your shins or thighs. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Come up all the way, circle your arms up. And exhale, swan dive forward. Lead with your heart down. Folding forward. Inhale. Come up halfway. Lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale. Come up all the way. Bring your arms all the way up. And exhale, release. Stand up tall. 
Place your hands on your hips and step your feet out wider than your hips and maybe even a little bit wider than your shoulders. You might have to adjust, so listen to your body and do what works best for you. Now your toes are pointing in the same direction as your knees. Then bend your knees. And once again, you might have to adjust here. Check and make sure that your right big toe is pointing in the same direction as your right knee. And the same with your left. And then take your hands in prayer position in front of your heart. From Goddess Pose, flow into a three-pointed star. Take a big belly breath in. Circle your arms up. Straighten your legs. Exhale, unite your palms in prayer position in front of your heart. Bending your knees. Three more. Inhale, circle your arms up, three-pointed star. Exhale, bend your knees, goddess pose. Inhale, sweep your arms down, round and up, straighten your legs. Exhale, hands in prayer position in front of your heart, bending your knees. Last one, inhale, reach up, three-pointed star. And exhale, sink deep into goddess pose. Hold it here for one deep breath. And then place your hands on your thighs for another side body stretch. Keep your right hand on your right thigh. Inhale, reach your left arm up and over. Exhale into your side body stretch. Try to keep your hips even with the ground. Take a deep breath in your side body bend. And then release as you exhale. Switching sides, left hand on your left thigh. Inhale, reach your right arm up and over. Exhale, opening up your right side body. Keep breathing into your stretch and at the same time strengthening your legs. And then release as you exhale. Great job, Yogi. Slowly, mindfully release. Bend your knees. Place your hands on your hips. And come out of goddess pose. Shake it out. We were holding it for quite a bit, so maybe you felt a burn there. I sure did. We're going to stretch it out in a wide-legged standing forward bend. Feet are parallel with each other and wider than your shoulders. Then inhale. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Fold forward from your hips. And then you can place your hands on your thighs, shins, ankles or feet. And see if you can go a little bit deeper. Go as far as you can go. Relax your neck. And feel the length in your spine each time you exhale. You can gently nod your head yes, shake your head no. Nice. In your white-legged standing forward bend, we're going to add a twist. Place your right fingertips underneath your face on the ground. As you inhale, reach your left arm up, twisting your chest to your left. Take a deep breath. Keep your hips parallel with the ground. And then release as you exhale, switching sides. Left fingertips where your right fingertips were. Then inhale, reach your right arm up. Exhale, twist and open your chest to the right. Keep breathing. And release as you exhale. Nicely done. Then bend your knees, place your hands on your hips and come up with a straight back. Wonderful. Then shake it out and get ready for warrior two pose. Take a wide stance with your left toes pointing towards your left side and your right toes facing forward towards the screen. The left heel is dissecting the inner arch of your right foot. Then bend your left knee, straighten out your right leg. Inhale, lengthen your arms parallel with the ground. Warrior two pose. Hold it, take a deep breath. Hug your thighs in towards each other. To take it a step further, feel free to lift up your left heel and notice the muscles that are engaging. Then lower your left heel down. And reverse it. Take a deep breath in. Reach your left arm up. Drop your right hand. For proud warrior. As you inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale. Left elbow on your left knee. And reach your right arm up and over. For extended side angle pose. Take a deep breath. Again, keep hugging your thighs in towards each other. Nice strong legs. Inhale, come back to warrior two pose. Virapadrasana two. With your hands on your hips, shorten your stance for triangle pose. This time, your heels are in line with each other. Left toes are still pointing towards the left. Right toes are pointing forward. Inhale, 
Lengthen your arms, parallel with the ground. Exhale, reach your left arm forward, bump your right hip towards the back. Place your left hand on your left thigh, shin, ankle, or your foot. You can reach your right arm up or place your right hand on your right hip. And also make sure that you're not locking your left knee, your front knee. So keep a micro bend in your left knee. And breathe deeply in your triangle pose. Trikanasana. Take one more deep breath. Then we'll reverse it. Push down to rise up. Raise your left arm up and over, dropping your right arm down. And you can also bring your left toes up, so you're flexing your left foot. Take a deep breath, reverse triangle pose. And then come back to center. Place your hands on your hips, feet are parallel with each other for a wide-legged standing forward bend to neutralize. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Take a deep breath, relax your neck. You can place your hands on your thighs or on your shins to go a little bit deeper. Feel the length in your spine. And then inhale, come up halfway, sliding your hands on your shins or thighs. Place your hands on your hips. Come back up with a straight back. Switching sides. Take warrior two on the other side. Right toes are pointing towards the right, left toes towards the left. Right heel is dissecting the inner arch of your left foot. Bend your right knee, straighten out your left leg. Arms are parallel with the ground. You can take it a step further by lifting your right heel up. Take a deep breath and then release your right heel down. Then reverse warrior, proud warrior. Inhale, reach your right arm up, lower your left arm. Take a deep breath. And then as you exhale, come into your extended side angle pose. Right elbow on your right thigh. And reach your left arm up and over. Take long, slow, deep breaths in and out through your nose. One final breath. Then as you inhale, come back to Virabhadrasana 2, Warrior 2. And from there to Triangle Pose, Trikanasana. Your heels are in line with each other. Legs are straight. Inhale, raise your arms parallel with the ground. Exhale, reach your right fingertips forward. Bump your left hip towards the back. Then place your right hand on your right thigh, shin, ankle or your foot and reach your left arm up and you can also place your left hand on your left hip. Remember to keep a micro bend in your front knee in your right knee. Take long slow deep breaths. Then we'll reverse it. Press down to rise up. Inhale. Reach your right arm up, lower your left arm down, and you can bring your right toes up, flex your right foot. Breathe into your right side body. Notice what's happening with your front foot that's flexed. Notice the muscles that are engaging. And then slowly release. Come back to center. Place your hands on your hips. Feet are parallel with each other. White legged standing forward bend. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Take a moment to breathe deeply. Allow your body to neutralize. Begin to bend your knees. Then slowly as you inhale, come back up. And place your feet back together. Stand up tall. Ground down through your left foot. And bring your right knee up. Hold on to your right knee, flex your right foot for standing pigeon. Place your right ankle above your left knee, then bend your left knee. Maintain balance and no worries if you lose balance, gently come back into your standing pigeon pose or figure four pose. 
sink your hips as deep as you can go. And you can keep your hands on your hips or in prayer position in front of your heart. Take a deep breath. Nice. Hold your balance. Slowly come out of your pigeon pose. Hold on to your right knee and draw three circles with your right foot. Warm up your ankle. And then make three circles in the other direction. Keep your focus, your gaze steady. Focus on one spot on the ground for balance. Well done. Then release. Same procedure on the other side. Ground down through your right foot. Lift your left knee up. Hold on to your left knee. Hold your balance. Focus on that one spot on the ground. And if you lose balance, no worries. Happens to all of us. Gently bring yourself back into your pose. And then come into your figure four pose. Standing pigeon. Place your left ankle above your right knee. You can place your hands on your hips and slowly bend your right knee. Sink your hips a little bit deeper towards the ground. Hold it. Keep breathing. You can also place your hands in prayer position in front of your heart. So there's a lot going on here. Strengthening, balancing and a hip opener. Well done. Then release. Stand up tall. Hold on to your left knee. And roll out your left foot to warm up your left ankle. Do it three times in one direction. And then three times in the other direction. Good job. Shake out your legs. For chair pose, place your big toes together. Slightly separate your heels. Then bend your knees. Sweep your arms down and up overhead. Lengthen your spine, lengthen your tailbone down towards the ground. Take a deep breath. Then as you inhale, lengthen your legs, open your chest, arms are in cactus position. Slightly arch your spine. As you exhale, sit back in chair pose. As you inhale, lengthen up, arch your spine, cactus arms. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, arch your spine, open across your chest. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, open your chest, cactus arms, and release. Take a nice stretch. You can interlace your hands, lengthen your spine, gentle side body stretch, and release. We're almost done. Let's do a few shoulder rolls. With your feet hip width apart, hold on to your shoulders and draw four circles with your elbows. Rolling out your shoulders, release any tension in your shoulders. And reverse direction, drawing circles towards the other side. Also relax your face, your jaw, the muscles around your eyes. And release. And let's seal our practice together. Stand up tall with your feet together. Take a deep breath in. Circle your arms up. Gather all the love, light and positive energy. Exhale, draw it into your whole being. Place your palms together in front of your heart. Prayer position. Take a moment to thank yourself for doing your yoga practice. May this be a blessing to you. And thank you so much for practicing with me from my heart to yours. Thank you so much for watching. Start your day feeling blissful with a free Blissful Morning Guide. 
Get yours by clicking the first link below in the description box. Just enter your first name and email and I'll send it to you right away. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for free yoga and meditation videos every Tuesday. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and let me know what your favorite part was and how this video went for you. And I look forward to seeing you soon again. Bye for now.